what is up guys welcome to another vlog as you can see I recently tinted my windows for my car and it looks pretty sick shout out to uh, Dr. Tint right here if you live in the uh, Montreal area definitely hit them up I'm gonna be talking about uh, if I miss my uh, my Mark V Jetta as most of you may know before I owned this Fiesta SC I had uh, a Volkswagen Jetta, 2006 Mark V generation, and um, it was the first car I really like. Got the mod bug and uh, started doing things and posting them on YouTube. And for the most part, those videos did pretty well. If you can search Mark V on YouTube, you'll see most of the top videos are my videos. I can proudly say, and uh, it was a good opportunity for me because a lot of in modding Mark V's, the content just wasn't there for a lot of key things. So here I am, you know, taking a chance, and I did a lot of uh, install videos with the help of my friends. Uh, I did a coilover video, um, did exhaust videos for people that have the 2.5 motor, like I did. Um, there wasn't very many, I guess, viral videos to go from to get a good idea and uh, a lot of those Jetta videos I did uh, they did pretty well so thank you to all of you uh, subscribers that uh, joined the Surmer family after watching those videos now I had that car for a bit over three years um, from basically 2013 Till last year, early 2018. So I guess really like five years. But uh, yeah, it was the first car I bought with my own money. Uh, the first car I really modded. I did everything I could possible. It was an automatic, so obviously I couldn't do a whole lot. But I made it look nice and sound amazing. Um, and yeah, it was the first car I put some decent amount of money into. For things and it was just a learning experience and it helped pave the way for me having the confidence to buy one of my dream cars, uh, a Mustang SVO project car, um, and <laughs> getting this Fiesta ST after. And yeah, so I have a lot to owe to the Mark V Jetta, to be honest. And uh, well, the real question is, do I miss it? And I'll be honest, I do sometimes. Um, that car, just something about it, my first Euro car, even though it wasn't like an Audi or something like that, it was, it had its Euro European flair to it, and the Volkswagen community, especially in Montreal, is like, uh, it's automatically, if you have a Euro car, you consider you know, one of the, the Euro hot boys, so, uh, and everything like that. But, I don't know, because I was a Mark V and there's a lot of Mark IV kids in, uh, in Montreal, I kind of felt like an outsider, but I kind of enjoyed that because when I pulled up to meets, I knew I was going to be one of the only, if the only Mark V there. So I automatically stood out. Even though my car wasn't like cambered to, to shit and everything like that, it had a nice track stance, real flush with the Audi S4 wheels. It looks really good. Um, the gripes about that car though was obviously it was automatic the transmission had to be rebuilt within the first couple months of owning it um, car wasn't fast and the fact that it was automatic didn't really help it <laughs> I, I used to go to the track fairly often even though I knew I was going to lose most of the races I, I went to uh, I still just had fun and uh, yeah but uh, that car broke a lot of boundaries for me trying to get into the car scene. Um, I can honestly say that that car helped me a lot with uh, getting comfortable with the car scene. It can be really intimidating for someone that's starting to get into cars or, you know, trying to get into the car scene and they don't know what car is more acceptable, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it doesn't matter what you have. As long as you show up to the events, people are going to recognize you. And I don't think 
it should matter what car you drive to get accepted. But if you do start to mod it, do it for yourself. That's what I got from having the car that I did with the limitations that I had with the, the car, the platform, everything like that, the transmission. I made do with what I had and it clearly paid off. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I couldn't have done it any other way to be honest. That car was great to me. Would I ever own another Euro car? Because a lot of you probably think I'm just a pure American guy, Ford guy now, because I own two Fords. That could be furthest from the truth. To be honest, if I were to get another car, <laughs> which is going to be in a couple years for sure, because I want to finish building my Mustang, um, I would for sure get another Euro car. I have a recent obsession with 944s, Porsche 944s. I know they're not the most uh, reliable or fastest cars out there, but there's just something about that 80s style, the pop-up headlights, and just the way it looks, the, fend like the stock wide fender flares in the back, they just look amazing. And I already know what kind of motor I would swap into it. So, that would be awesome, as a Euro car. And if I were to go JDM, there's quite a few cars I would want going JDM, but uh, yeah, let's, let's say that for another video. But uh, yeah, long story short, without rambling on too much, the Mark V Jetta was great. I would suggest it to anybody trying to get into the Euro scene. Mark IVs obviously are the easiest way to go. They're cheaper, they're more sought after, I guess, because of the build quality. Mark Vs are, they look more mature, I'll say. They look more bigger, well, they are bigger cars. Um, more uh, more Audi-esque that's when they're first starting to make their cars look more Audi-esque was the Mark V generation um, but definitely I would I would say if you can go through my old videos you'll get a taste of uh, what to like and what not to like about those cars um, definitely a big suggestion if you're going to get a Mark V make sure it's manual unless it's a DSG GLI model then that's fine. But even that, it's the first generation of the DSG, so maybe they're not the greatest. I never drove one, but uh, that's just my two cents. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you like this little vlog. I know some of you are probably wondering if I think about my Mark V Jetta or not, or if I miss it, and I for sure do. I, I see them all the time on the roads, like stock ones, obviously, but uh, it still makes me think and reflect back. I'm wondering even where my my old car is now and who drives it or if it's in the scrapyard or something like I don't even want to think about that part but anyways guys this is your first time please like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video all right